just wanted to spend a few moments uh, looking at this beautiful lake where we've been filming some of our videos of late and uh, you'll appreciate this in high definition no doubt and the Lord is certainly amazing in his creation but uh, I wanted to talk about the UK very briefly if I may since this uh, cold snap I think about 30 people have died through this uh, bad weather much of the UK is now covered in thick ice and it's not uh, particularly nice to travel around in to get about. Some of those people that died didn't think their time was up. Somebody got drunk, went home and uh, went to sleep in an outside shed and of course he froze to death. This is what happens of course when you're drunk, you're intoxicated, you're not uh, thinking or acting rationally. Somebody else was putting out the rubbish and uh, this was an old woman. She got disorientated and was found in the snow. She'd frozen to death. A lake not similar, uh, or I should say a lake very similar to this was uh, a crime scene. Last week, four brothers went out and uh, two of them broke uh, the ice and the ice gave way and of course they drowned. The other third brother was rescued by two passers-by and the fourth brother had more sense than the three of them to go in in the first place and uh, he didn't go in but tragically witnessed the death of his two brothers. Again these people went out to have a good time to enjoy something as beautiful as this and they paid with their lives. Uh, what am I trying to say? Well, quite simply, that if you're not born again, you're lost. And if you're lost, then when you die, you're going to go to hell. And you're going to be judged. And whether you believe in the Lord or not is totally immaterial. I've said this before and I'll say it again. During the Nuremberg War uh, trials, and we've been to Germany, we've been to Nuremberg by the way, and you can look at our video. We've got a chance to film in court, 600 I think it was called. But a lot of those Germans stood before British, American and uh, Russian judges, not believing in their judges, and the judges found about a dozen of them or so guilty of heinous war crimes, and they were hung at the end of the war. So you can not believe in the Lord, you can close your eyes if you wish to, and look at all this beautiful creation and say that it came from nothing. But uh, remember people that you have a conscience and your conscience tells you when you do wrong and if you constantly violate that conscience then you will have to give an account of yourself. The Lord has given it to you for a purpose and if you violate it through your wicked living then don't be surprised to suffer an eternity in hell. But if you repent if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, trust him as your saviour. And the Bible says you will pass from death unto life. And you'll go to heaven, not because you are a good person, which you've already established, but a very wicked person. 30 people have died in the last uh, two to three weeks. And uh, nothing, to, to, uh, nothing to suggest that they were saved. And now they start an eternity in the lake of fire with all the people that have died in Haiti. Remember 150,000 people die every day and uh, Jews of this week over 50,000 dies. And hell according to Isaiah 5 is never full but uh, Luke 18 says the Lord rejoices when a sinner repents. And I hope and pray that you will repent today and trust the wonderful creator of the universe who designed all of this beautiful uh, creation. Give him the glory and thank him that Jesus Christ died for your sins. Thank you and Maranatha.